So first of all, it uh, was aimed to prepare, I mean provide a shared space for the people across the divide among uh, Turkish Cypriots and Greek Cypriots who are interested in dialogue and cooperation. Uh, they needed a, a space, shared space, which didn't exist and yet still doesn't exist apart from home for cooperation. Uh, the reason that it is located in buffer zone is first of all it gives the message of neutrality. So uh, it's uh, in the uh, middle of two sides. Physically it gives this message of neutrality and the second uh, it is accessible to everybody on this island. So in that uh, context it is also very unique. There are some people in north uh, who are not allowed to cross to the south of the island and in south there are some people uh, who can cross but don't want to cross to the north uh, because uh, saying that this is whole our island and we don't want to show our passports and ID cards to travel in our uh, own country but all these people can access to buffer zone so in that sense it is accessible to any everybody moreover it gives this, uh, the symbolic uh, message that it is a neutral place but uh, throughout these years since 2011 it evolved it has evolved so it is beyond a shared space now uh, at the same time uh, home for cooperation uh, is uh, has been producing its own event so it's not only a venue place providing a physical place for individuals and organizations to come together it is but there is more so besides this uh, it has uh, been producing its own activities events uh, basically uh, using uh, arts and culture to bring uh, people together so there are daily workshops here uh, language classes uh, dance classes music classes yoga classes and at the same time uh, there are some concept uh, events that we have been uh, producing since 2011 for example one of them is Thursday's lives where we use music to bring people together so every Thursday we bring across the divide two different bands uh, playing here uh, in the buffer zone so bringing these bands means we bring their audience as well so these people uh, by doing this we managed to get out of uh, the usual suspects so in the beginning it was more like a people who were interested in this kind of or converted people uh, but then this is where the strong uh, the power of the arts i think uh, we manage uh, to reach uh, different people who are maybe apolitical even a little bit nationalist or who simply doesn't know anything about other society which is good actually we aim to uh, reach these people and now we also have a, a cafe here with a small library and uh, yeah i mean a uh, cafe is also a, a way to bring people together uh, in cypriot uh, culture it plays i mean food and coffee and drinks play an important role so by using this, uh, it's, we try to make this uh, a culture center, actually, a community center. Uh, we are uh, to attract people here, uh, to reach more people. And there are some research organizations uh, that do uh, polls regularly uh, to find out the tendencies uh, of the Turkish Cypriots and Greek Cypriots regarding the Cyprus issue. And in this poll, they also uh, find, uh, try to measure the demographic factors as well, which are, I mean, like uh, gender factor, age factor, uh, education factor. What they find out is uh, uh, is actually these demographic factors play a role uh, on how you perceive the Cyprus issue and how what kind of Cyprus you foresee in the future. Uh, for example, we found out that especially in South, in Greek Cypriot community, we have an issue with the young people and sadly with uh, women. So the younger generations are less keen on seeing a united Cyprus. And among these young people, women are even less. So apparently there is a problem there and we have to reach youngsters and we have to reach women so 
in order to do this, we decided to diversify our uh, activities. First of all, as I said, using arts and culture is very good uh, to reach people from different backgrounds, different uh, uh, social groups. But uh, using arts and uh, culture is not solely enough. We had to diversify it as well. Like we had a hip hop festival here. So in the hip hop festival, I mean, the people here were like teenagers and people who like to dance hip hop. So normally, I mean, uh, with the other uh, activities, we could have never attracted these people. The more we diversify the events, for example, we have kids choir here, where we do it together in collaboration with AHDR. Uh, uh, we are aiming there uh, the kids in primary school, even younger where they come and sing uh, once a week. So normally they come with their parents because these are little kids. So we have here a double thing, like uh, we kids sing together, Turkish people, Greek people, kids sing together, and their families are also around uh, getting to know them, uh, each other. So this is the th uh, thing, I think. I mean, in culture, arts, and diversify them. I mean, the uh, more different events you do, uh, more different people uh, you attract. This is uh, what uh, our new strategy is.